Oh, yeah. You already know what it is, man. Welcome back, guys, to, you know, Kendrick TV. Now, this just, this just a motherfucking, uh, what we call this shit, TJ? We giving y'all some exclusives. We just freestyling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all my life. You feel me? You know, that, that's how that's how we rocking. That's how we rocking, you know what I'm saying? You know, sh shout out to, uh, oh, shout out. I'm already dropping shit, TJ. Shout out to that motherfucking Milwaukee best nigga. Okay. But, like, this just random, just regular shit. You know what I'm saying? Just everyday shit, TJ. We ain't, we ain't got, we ain't, I'm motherfucking eyes on that. I gotta say too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you know what I'm I gotta talk about these female, bro. I gotta talk about these hoes. You know. But shout out, shout out to the females that fuck with me, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Look, I had saw a bitch today, nigga. I was leaving work and shit. I'm on the way, you know, pick up my shit. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, I'm playing that doff. Some female in some booty shorts, some booty short tights. Oh, she, she over there. I had the windows down and shit. She over there. Mm, mm, mm. I was like, bitch, I hit you. Bitch. Bitch, as long as you give me the right information, you hear me, TJ? As long as I know the bitch old enough, as long as I know the bitch is legal, I fuck with you. But I got to make sure the bitch is legal. But she look good as fuck. But... Hey baby, if you old enough, hey y'all, y'all females in today's time, y'all can find nigga Instagram in minutes. So I, I wouldn't even doubt that. Well, yeah, man, you know with these females though, bro, you just gotta like you gotta play it cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I didn't had a bitch cut me off. I ain't gonna lie, I told the bitch, I was like, I hit her up, I was like, man, I'm trying to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I told her that. And she was like, nigga, I ain't finna fuck you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I told you my situation. You didn't tell me your situation. But we can go along with what you said. But I'm just saying, we, we, we're not gonna put your name in it, baby. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got number love for you today. I still fuck you today. No cap. I still fuck you today. I ain't got nothing against it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, y'all females gotta be more direct. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's some females out here They'll only fuck with you if it's beneficial. You see what I'm saying? If it's beneficial, they'll fuck with you. Why is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, it, you know I'm a real one. Bitch, you done been around me for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's bitches that'll be around a nigga just because if, if, if they can't get nothing out of the situation. And don't get me wrong. Like, y'all females are obligated to do whatever the fuck you do. But I'm just saying. In the game, you gotta you gotta reciprocate that to the man. You hear me, TJ? You gotta reciprocate that to the man. Why the fuck I'm just fucking with you, and I'm I'm doing this for you, I'm doing that for you, but I'm not getting out of the situation. I'm a nigga at the end of the day. I still want some pussy. I still want to get my dick sucked. And it's fucked up. It's random, but it's fucked up because, like, even with y'all females that motherfucking have kids, I love y'all. I swear. I, I Boy, I fuck with y'all hoes all the way, but it's just the most freakiest females have about three, four kids. Bitch, you're too... You, and I know you're freaky as fuck, but I'm like, you're too occupied to do anything. Bitch, you don't even have free time. It, it don't seem like just on my position, you know, I fuck with females that got multiple kids, numerous kids, three to four kids. Let me show my drug. But it just seemed like, bro, some of the best females got too many kids, bro. They can't even spend time with a nigga. Man, I, man, I was supposed to chill with one female two times. The first night her kid got sick or something, whatever. 
It ain't nothing like, I ain't gonna lie, I fell asleep on you, baby, so that's my fault. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, bro, like, I think some of the most freakiest females got a lot of kids. So they can't really make time for you. You see what I'm saying? They can't really make time for you. They freaky as fuck. They probably suck your dick for an hour straight. Bitch, you probably suck the dick for an hour straight. I'm going to just be real. But the only thing is what skims to it, what takes away from it is, and it's no knock. It's just because you got kids to tend to, you can't do the sexual shit that you want to because you're too occupied. Bitch, you got to wait till the kids go to sleep. Or, or if you have a babysitter. You see what I'm saying, TJ? The bitch got to have a babysitter. Oh, yeah. And th 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 this is some exclusive content. This for the subscribers. You know, I had to go ahead and bless y'all with just a random. This ain't, even, this ain't no podcast episode. It's just me talking my shit. Just living life. You know what I'm saying, TJ? You know, me and you done fucked a lot of bitches, nigga. I done fucked. Hey, I done fucked a lot of bitches. Like I said, I done fucked 33 bitches, you know what I'm saying, in my lifetime. And I'm just 27. You know, but I done, I came across some real ones. Some bitches I just fucked on the fly. Like, it was just, a nigga was turning up that night. Shout out to my nigga JC. A nigga was just turning up that night. And motherfuckers just happened to be at a party. And they be like, hey, bro, all these hoes going. You know what I'm saying? So, like, shit, we happened to fuck them hoes that night. Nigga, it was one bitch that fucked. Damn near 30 niggas in one night. No cap. JC, you know what I'm talking about. It was one bitch to fuck 30 niggas in a night. Man, and a bitch will say they don't fuck. That's a motherfucking lie. I done seen a bitch get ran through by 30 niggas in one night. But I ain't shit because I fucked 33 bitches over the course of my lifetime. But it wasn't like I was mother. Bitch, I ain't do it in one night. I did this shit in years of span, in a three year span. I fucked 33 bitches in a three years, three and a half year span. It's a, dude, I seen a bitch fuck 30 niggas in one night. This bitch done fucking hit her accolade. But bitches, I'm the bad guy for fucking hoes. I'm just saying, dog. Bitches fuck too. And motherfuckers don't talk about that enough, bro. Bitches be fucking niggas, man. If a bitch go ghost on you, nigga, y'all just started talking that bitch go ghost on you after a minute, nigga, she fucking somebody or she fucking with somebody. Bitches, don't, bitches just don't go ghost on you for no reason, TJ. I'm just be real with you. Like, what was it when you were old girl? Okay, y'all got cool. And y'all was kicking it. And see, and somebody, because remember, one of my homeboys, what was that nigga, Kalen? He suggested a female to you. He was like, hey, bro, you need to fuck with so-and-so. I was like, all right, man, well, should I let him know? You know what I'm saying? I told him, I was like, hey, bro, fuck with so-and-so then. And then you got you got the fucking with her. Y'all had a mutual, you know, con conglomerate. You know, for you English motherfuckers, they had a mutual conglomerate. It was a mutual situation. And, you know, motherfucking, y'all talk good. Y'all talk consistent for about two months and then just fell short out of nowhere, right? Yeah. I feel you on that. Because, like, even with me, bro, I didn't talk to a female. We were solid for about, about, about two months, bro. We talked on the phone about three hours. And then all of a sudden, it just it just fell randomly. You know, we didn't talk for about a couple of months. I was like, oh, yeah, it's another thing in the picture. But, I, you know, you, you, you got to be player about it, bro. You, you know, when a bitch ghosts you, you, all you can do is just talk to another bitch at the end of the day. I'm going to just be real, man. It's, 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 it's some hoes that you don't want to fuck with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. The situation is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But we we built a lot of chemistry, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, baby. We built a lot of chemistry. I'm not mad at you for what you did. You're a woman at the end of the day. 
And I'm not saying every female the same, but I'm just saying when a female feel like it's a nigga that can do something for them or it's just a life changer, they're going to fuck with them over the nigga that they already had chemistry with. Real shit. So at the end of the day, man, you just got to learn that. I ain't got ghost by bitches a lot of times, plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I kept it going. Shout out to my young thug. Free my nigga young thug. Y'all go stream, motherfucking young thug. Keep it going. Cause that's what you gotta do, bro. You ain't gonna get every bitch, man. You ain't gonna keep every bitch. What niggas be like, these hoes for everybody. They is, to an extent, you know what I'm saying? But every nigga want to get a bitch that's just down for him. It ain't even got to be about, oh, like, damn, you don't fuck with me. Nah, like, a, a nigga want a bitch that just, he can rock with. You know what I'm saying? A nigga want a bitch he can just rock with, my nigga. Like, he don't even be on no, excuse me. It don't be on that. Like, y'all females got to realize, man, like, most niggas, they just want a female that they can be real with, keep it a band with them, and then they just fuck with a nigga. Like, nigga don't ask for much. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't asking for much. I'm just saying. Fuck with a nigga because you fuck with me, and you just want to be there for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? If I'm there for you, I'm helping the situation. And if you need help with anything, I would help you along the way. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, bitches don't want to stick around. You know what I'm saying? They rather, you know, you know, just fuck with whoever, whoever is the most trending nigga or the most popular nigga or the most hottest guy or whatever the case may be. They want to fuck with that. But like y'all bitches got to fuck with a nigga that's really building a foundation or just even putting you on game. Y'all bitches ain't stupid. You know who really fuck with you. I'm sorry. Y'all female is not stupid. You know who really fuck with you. But instead, y'all fuck with the niggas that don't have your best interests. You hear me, TJ? Females, they fuck with a nigga that don't have their best interests. And then they end up getting let down further along in the game because they realize this nigga just here just to, just to fuck. But a nigga like me, I would have told you that from the jump. You see what I'm saying, T? I would have told you that from the jump. Whatever I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna just fuck with you plain sight and just be like, hey, I'm finna when I was younger maybe. But as I got older, I would rather tell a bitch, hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't looking for no relationship. We we, we can fuck around, do whatever, whoop de whoop, and we can see where it go. That's all I can tell a bitch in today's time. If you rock with it, you rock with it. If you don't, you don't. I, I can't get mad. You know what I'm saying? But it's just in today's time, bro, a lot of females they fuck bitches don't say they fuck with a lot of niggas that they regret fucking with. But they never say this shit. You know what I'm saying? As a man, it's always on front street. You know what I'm saying? It's niggas that I hate on you because, oh, bro, you and so-and-so didn't work out. But they don't even know, nigga, this bitch won shit. The bitch head went on straight. That's why I didn't continue on with her. Or even sometimes, oh, bro, I ain't work out with this bitch because this bitch tried to play too many games. A lot of y'all hoes try to play a lot of games. And that's not what a nigga is in the game for. I, I want to elevate you, bitch. I want to make sure that you're on your square. You know what I'm saying? But bitches don't do that. We're, we're, we're in a different time frame. We live in a different time, bro. Motherfuckers uh, 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 take the female side before you take the male side. I'm going to just be real. They'll take, the male, they'll take the female side before you take the male side. A bitch will say something and they'll take whatever she said and run with it. And then when a nigga give his side of the story, they don't even want to believe it. They're like, this guy's full of shit. This nigga telling you the truth and you don't even know. Come on, man. Advice is knowledge. Game is knowledge. Bitch, you want to, you got you have to be open to be able to take in what the fuck a nigga is trying to give you. I done had bitches where they, they act like they want to hear the game. They act like they want to hear it, TJ. But then when I break it down to them, they shy away from it. They push me away. 
because I'm telling them the righteous way. The average, some females they want to be lied to, bro. They want to be lied to. They don't want y'all bitches don't want the truth like that. Y'all don't. Y'all want a nigga to lie to you so you can tell your friends how this nigga ain't shit just to make you feel better towards your friends, just to make your friends seem like, oh, she's right. But why is she still single? This bitch don't even have a nigga. But she's telling her friends that got that's in relationships on what to do, and then they end up breaking up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like, y'all females, y'all listen to y'all friends way too much. Bitch, get a feel for the nigga your damn self. And then, motherfucking, go by what the fuck you feel like you need to do. By fucking with the nigga, bitch. After you done fuck with nigga over a couple of months, you, you know what type of nigga he is. So don't lie to me. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the guys following me, man. Look. This is just a short episode, man. Look, we're just giving y'all just some just some small game. You know what I'm saying? We're going to shift gears, you hear me? I got a bitch coming over, so I can't uh, go too deep in detail. But uh, y'all motherfuckers have a good night, man. Enjoy y'all Friday, man. I know y'all probably had a long week. You hear me, TJ? I didn't have a long week my damn self, nigga. I remember when it was just Monday. I'm glad it's Friday. Niggas going to sleep in and, and, and chill. You know what I'm saying? But for y'all hoes, Y'all ain't shit for acting like y'all ain't shit for trying to believe in y'all friends that's single. Like, stop doing that shit. We need to change that narrative. Listen to a female that has a nigga. That way you can keep whatever nigga that you're fucking with around. I'ma just be real. Y'all hoes listen to y'all single friends and y'all wonder why y'all continue to be single. When a nigga like me try to give y'all the game, y'all act like I'm telling y'all some bullshit, but bitch, you know right from wrong, and you know the real from the fake. Bitch, if I want to fuck you the first night, accept what the fuck I told you. I didn't have bitches do. I done told bitches that I wanted to fuck the first night, TJ. They got mad at first, and then a couple of weeks later, they pulled back up and fucked me. Because y'all know I'm not on the bullshit. A lot of women are not going to respect that. But that because they don't understand it. They're not used to a real nigga. Most bitches get scared when they're around a nigga that really do what he say. So when I told some of these bitches, hey, I'm trying to fuck, they were like, damn, this nigga being real though, he not bullshitting with me. It's for you guys. It's still bitches out there that they will fuck with you off of you being you. At the end of the day, my nigga, just be yourself. Be yourself, man. Don't listen to what other motherfuckers is telling you. They're not in your position. Only you know your position as a man. Tell these hoes what you tell these hoes what you're living and what you're doing. If she ain't fucking with it, man, leave that bitch because she ain't got your best interest. It's obvious she in it for something else. Don't fuck with a bitch because she in it for something else. Fuck with a bitch because she fucking what you doing, what you putting down, your game. Fuck with that bitch. She a real one. That's why I say shout out to all the real females, man. Real shit, because not too many of them around. Bitches want to get that program ran, but they want to be ran by a nigga that's really in that position to handle it. So that's, that, 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 that's all I'm going to give y'all today, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for tuning in to Kenneth TV. This is a loose episode, but just game to the listeners, man, to mostly my male audience. I just want you guys to know, man, be yourself, bro. Be yourself. If a female don't fuck with you for, for you being you, leave that bitch, man. Because the bitch trying to make you do something, the bitch is trying to make you be something that you're not. Therefore, you're never going to get the results that you need in life. That's all I'm going to say, man. Go to this shit. Shout out to all the hoes that fuck with me, man. And shout out to all the women, the real women that fuck with me, because I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all, man, because that's the reason why a lot of bitches don't don't get over on nigga TJ. Because I got older females in the game that they put me on this shit when I was a young nigga at 23. I'm older now, but I'm just saying, at a younger age, bitches was telling me, "Hey, bitches on this." I'm like, "All right, bet say less." 
So I'm just letting you guys know. Thank you guys for tuning into an episode, a, a exclusive episode of Kendrick TV. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kendrick TV. Thirty one ninety four. Good edition.